Hello friends, it is Shadow Ready here, talking some more about some carriers in World of Warships. So in my last video I talked about like the best starter um, aircraft carrier, which would be the British t carrier, the Hermes. But say you can't didn't uh, have enough credits or enough like flags or whatever this that currency was for for it to get that ship, um, which I don't really know what it's called, Flagans, Fl Flagans, I don't know. You're gonna hate me because I sucked at pronouncing it. But the next best thing to do is to actually go with the Japanese, um, in my opinion at least. I believe the Japanese have an easier learning curve um, than the United States do. Once again, I'm in their strike aircraft right now. Nothing too crazy already. I'm enjoying it. Now the only thing that you have to watch out for is the armor piercing ones on this type of ship because or these type of airplanes. The other nations have a uh, HE bomb, but the Japanese have an armor piercing. So you kind of want to go after like cruisers and just battleships with that. Just because you'll have a you'll have a chance to get citadels, which is awesome. And you do a ton of damage. Now, I'm going to contradict what I said in my last video of using torpedo bombers on destroyers. But it's this map. <laughs> it's literally this map and he's going to get it. Now, as you can see, this spread of torpedoes is a lot less narrow than the... Uh, spread of the British, but it's still fun. And we're gonna engage the St. Louis over here. I wanna get as close as possible. And ba-boom. Get a nice 4,000 damage on him. It's always nice to do a lot of damage. I've already done 7,000 damage in this match already. Um, it's just because I've learned from the British how to do better. How to be better. Let's go after the St. Louis, actually. Um, so we're going to take out our armor-piercing bombs now. And we're actually going to go over here. And go attack a cruiser if I can. Now let me know down in the comment sections what you guys want to learn about the carriers because I'm still learning myself and I want to teach you guys as much as possible. Um, oh, pro tip on the Japanese carriers. You want to go from the bow to the stern. Uh, you don't want to attack them broadside because you can see the little reticle um, that I have down there. It's pretty much the outline of a ship. And also the other thing is You'll be able to do, our, uh, hopefully, some citadels, which hopefully I'll be able to show you guys against that St. Louis. So I need to kind of like curve. I'm going to curve into the St. Louis over here. Well, he did. Then we're going to turn. And if I don't see the St. Louis, there I do. Then we're going to engage a little bit ahead of him. But then, look how narrow that gets. So nice. You can wait a really long time and boom! Two citadels like that. Holy crap. A lot of damage. I love, I love these armor-piercing bombs. They do a ton of damage. Then you just line it up again. I have to drop early because I overshot it just a little bit. That's the other thing. You have to gauge a little bit hard. It's a little bit harder to gauge on the dropping speed or like the area on this one. That's for sure. And then right about there. Dang, over penetrations. But I mean, it was still a lot of damage. I already, I already have 19,000. Um, which is purely because I'm attacking a tier 3 cruiser, but 
That is a-okay. I have no problems with that. Because I want to get points, and I want to win this game. It's going to be a really uphill battle, though, but I want to win. Wow, no battleships. I just now realized that. I think one of my torpedoes could potentially kill him. It's going to be really close to get him. Mind you, 54, and he's at 57. So we're going to engage on the St. Louis. That's who we're going to go for. Let that bad boy close up as much as possible. And we're going to go right about there. And he's going a little bit faster than I thought he was going to. A little sad. Oh well, I'll be fine. I should not be attacking him like this. This is an awful angle to attack him from, but... Oh well. Still hit him. And he's gonna turn into it. Oh, I just saved that cruiser. Alright, we're gonna return back. We're gonna take out a strike aircraft because I saw a destroyer over there, and that's this is usually the easiest thing to hit. Usually. And then if I if yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna kill that uh doesn't look like we we're gonna kill the St. Louis, so we may have some other plans, and then I need to start moving that way. Luckily, this carrier is super fast, so if you get caught in a sticky situation kind of like this, you can at least get away. It's really hard for uh, a United States carrier to get away, because they go really slow, about 20 or less kilometers per hour. Or, not kilometer, not, yeah, yeah, not, not, sorry, not nautical. Don't hate me. I really wanted to go after the Chester, but I'm not. We're gonna go after the Wix. And yeah. So that's the that's the problem with these uh, strike aircraft. They just go way over it. Even though you have like a tiny circle on them. So once again. I would prefer you guys, if you don't have uh, the ability to get a, um, if you can't get the British crew carrier, try the uh, lovely uh, Japanese. They're so far been my favorite to learn. Um, I think the United States is a little bit more, like a little bit more of a struggle to learn. Uh, not saying that you can't do bad in them, it just takes a little bit more to learn and understand them. Um, and they're not as user-friendly as some other other nations are, like the British and the Japanese. So he's going this way. There he is. So we're going to do this, then we're going to turn into him. Good hits, good hits. I should be able to destroy them. Should. Now you want to go in front of him. And like so. Too much, maybe. There we go. Good hits. That was some good hits, and we needed that, that's for sure. Um, we probably need to start going back this way, just purely because we need to get back over here and help out our team.
Um. I don't want to waste my armor piercing against him. I want to go with that Charleston. Yeah. Charleston's getting it. I really hope I don't run into the uh, other aircraft carrier. Purely because he will strike down all my aircraft instantly. That's kind of like the automatic, like, nope, you don't get to win type of situation. There he is already. Good stuff. That was some good hits. Um, I guess I will use my strike aircraft. I hate this bug where it goes backwards. Just, just sail straight. Jeez. Um. Actually, I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna go that way. I did get lucky this game that there wasn't too much uh, AA fire. Um, if there was a bunch of AA fire, you just want to be super protective of, of your ships and your airplanes. Um, just purely because you, it's going to be hard to hit anything. I'll try to support this Valkyrie, but I can't see him. And I'm going to trust that he does something. Good, he, okay, good, he got him. Let's go after the St. Louis. Because that's the problem child right now. Good, we set him on fire, so he should... Yeah, he instantly burned it. You got to be kidding me, people. <laughs> this got really intense really fast. All right. Now I have to really pay attention. Um, because, yeah, they're all going to go after me. This won't do much, but you know what? We're going to try it. Thought there would be more defense on me. Not looking good. I don't think we're going to win this one. But we're going to do a lot of damage. That's all I know. At least try to, at least. Ooh, I overshot that. At least I got a penetration, but... Don't think I'm going to win this one. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it, um, and hopefully you're learning a lot, um, because I am still learning how to carry her. Um, I want to use my strike aircraft. Oh, of course. There is the Clemson. I might be able to take him out. Might. Okay, 
Good hit. I needed that type of hit, that's for sure. That one was awful. Launch! What am I getting shot by? Oh, the St. Louis. Jesus, the loudness all of a sudden. And there, there I go. Yep. I had to hit him on that time. Like, that's the annoying part. Uh, playing a carrier, you have to play two type of planes and ships and everything. Uh, but 41,000 damage, not too bad for a uh, tier 4. Bet you top of the team. Yep, I was. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed and learned that the next best thing, if you can't get a uh, British cruiser, or British carrier, sorry, is to take up the Japanese, because they're a lot of fun, um, especially whenever you get more experience in them. Um, and then, I would say next up would be the United States, but that's, of course, just my personal preference. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.